back with more Once Upon a Time. This is episode nine. Um, last episode was really cool. Um, we got a lot of backstory for like Rumble Stiltskin, which is really interesting. Um, and then we had the whole like debate for Sheriff, stuff like that. Emma was victorious. Um, but Mr. Gold was like, well, I've helped you be Sheriff. Now you can help me return your favor, whatever. So that's going to come back to haunt her at some point, I'm sure. There's a very brief glimpse of stuff with like Mary Margaret and David. And I'm just like, God's sake, just make out already. Oh, that's going to drive me insane. But there we are. Um, still kind of grieving. Poor Graham. Poor Fifty Shades. That's, that, that was a bad break for him. Um, but yeah. Um, who knows what could happen next. Um, are we gonna like explore a backstory of a character we've met? Are we gonna meet new people? Um, or are we just gonna continue with plot threads in storybook? They could do so many different things, so it's always exciting. Cause you never know exactly what you're gonna expect when you go into a new episode, so that's always exciting. Uh, so without further ado, let's just get into it. This is my brother Nicholas. Oh my god, fall in love. Come on, let's go. Stop it! You out? Oh, my child. Sure. Aww, and he likes comic books. I love him even more. Where the hell do you think you're going? Oh. No. Oh. That's why you were talking to me. So your brother could put that stuff in there. Oh. Henry, I'm shocked. And you too. Just who do you think you are? Aww. Well, I don't like them. Whoever they are. Was that guy sneezy? He was sneezing. And have your brother accompany you. Is this, uh, is this Hansen and Gretel? That'd be cool. Wait. Is this going to be Virginia? Of course. Well, I'm sorry, Madam Mary. Resting bitch face is strong. <laughs> Oh my! It's their best shot, or we're gonna be separated. Oh. No, that's not gonna happen. Please. I feel like Mary Margaret would have seen the girl walk Please up. Don't let it. Those documents have been recently removed. By who? Don't worry, Miss Swan. You can relax. I wonder. These children need a home. I'm just trying to find the best one. Hmm. What is that? I can I see both sides of the argument. <laughs> Don't eat anything. I would eat the whole fucking lot. I wouldn't even be sorry. What a way to go out. Oh my god, that looks delicious. CGI, but delicious. God, I'm so hungry. Not their father. Mine. <gasps> I told you about your parents. Please. Oh my god. Tell him something. He died saving a family from a burning apartment building. So, you think I'm a savior, Henry? He was. Your father was a real hero. Oh. Do you have anything of his? Something you can remember him by. Something I could see. I... I don't. Henry. I'd be like, tuck in, kids. Let's go. Oh. Oh my god. I'd be stuffing my face. Not even a care in the world. I don't know what I mean, not the actual gingerbread house, because I don't like gingerbread, but... Can you be sure she's sleeping? I can't. I remember what the Queen said. Not even a lick. Nah, go for it. What's the worst going to happen? Don't do it! But also kind of do it, because I would. Oh, you shouldn't do it, you shouldn't do it, you shouldn't do it, you shouldn't do it, you shouldn't do it. Oh, no.
Oh boy. I just leave the boy, he's doing away or something. The compass was purchased by Mr. Michael Tillman. Anything else? Just a name. Oh. What a snake. I met her when I was camping. And we, um. Uh... Fun dude. No. A month ago, a kid showed up at my doorstep. I gave up for adoption, asking for help with something. I ended up moving here for him. I heard about that some there, son. Staying in town. Is... And if you choose not to take them, you are going to have to answer for that every day of your life. And sooner or later, when they find you, because believe me, they will find you. And his father was no hero, and trust me, he does not need to know the real story. I had a feeling she was lying, Maybe but it was still a very nice story. Just until we can find a family. Where are you? Comfortable. Oh my god, you're useless. Gravy. How shall I baste you? <sighs> Get one job. In you go. <laughs> to be fair, so would I. That's hilarious. I mean, bit cheap, but hilarious. My dear children. Were you successful in <laughs> your gravy. task? Yes, Your Majesty. Though you were almost <laughs> to dinner. Oh, how about that? <laughs> Is it the poison apple or something? So it takes you to not know why. I've waited a very long time for this. <sighs> you did it. Yes. I thought it was when yeah, she first mentioned it. Boy, this is not just an apple. It's a weapon. You can throw a it really hard. A very particular and devious enemy. You aren't the first boy or girl that I've sent into that sticky sweet house. Oh my God. But she's killed by the children. You are the first to emerge. All of your dreams could come true. Never had a dream no. come true. We want our father back. I know she's gonna say that. He no. would never abandon us. Yeah, something and happened to him. even if he did, we would never want to live with someone as terrible as you. Oh. Is that so? Yes. We're going to find him, with or without your help. With or without And when we do, you. we're going to prove you wrong. We'll see about that. Oh dear. Yeah, you wouldn't piss off an evil queen, would you? It's just not a smart idea. And they still chose uncertainty because of their blind faith in you. Tell me why. Hmm? Tell me why. Your family always finds one another. Aww. Like Mary, Margaret and David. God damn it. Release him. To the hounds. Let me go. I shouldn't send him to the center of the sun, so that's something. Aww. Everything will be fine. Eaten by wolves. Oh yeah, Colin, he works at the garage. Wow. Is that emotional manipulation? I don't know. But <laughs> Once I saw him, I got to know him. We couldn't go back. Because he's a precious cinnamon bean. You only have room for one, sorry. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I have a kid. You'd think I'd remember that. Yeah, you'd think. You do kind of have my chin. <laughs> <laughs> I love that she's found out about I think this. I'm gonna go get some air. Oh my 
my god, please have flashbacks or something. So precious. Oh. Henry, not your father. Yeah? I'm glad I told you. Me too. Oh, it's gonna drive him apart. Oh, stop it. Oh. You're setting me up for a heartbreak, you bastards. I didn't catch your name. That's because I didn't give it. I thought you said strangers don't come as far as they They don't. Mm. So that enemy's your dad? <gasps> Interesting. That was a really good episode, I really enjoyed that. Um, it was cool seeing like the Hansel and Gretel story with its own like twists and turns, that was really exciting. Um, and I like how that paralleled with the storybook story. Um, you know, all those speeches about, you know, finding your parents and adoption and all that. Um, I'm glad they did address, though, in that one line. I think Mary Margaret said, you know, it's not all bad when people adopt, you know. Some people, um, you know, some adoptive families will be lovely and fantastic. Um, just sometimes it doesn't always work out. So I'm glad they addressed both sides of it and didn't say, you know, we're completely against, you know, them being adopted. Um... So yeah, that was very interesting. Um, I knew that story Emma told Henry was going to be a lie about his dad, but um, it was just such a beautifully done scene. I had a little cry. <laughs> They're just so adorable. Um, and I loved the scene with um, Emma telling Mary Margaret that Henry thinks, quite rightly, that um, she's her mum. I really liked that, and then she had that moment with the blanket. Oh, if she ever remembers and stuff, I might sob. Um, those would be some crazy scenes if they ever like proper reunite and realise who they are and stuff. Yeah, it was like a fairly self-contained story, which I thought was really well done. Um, so I like seeing all of that. And that tease at the end, this stranger. I don't know who it is. Um, maybe it's Henry's real dad. That's a possibility, since they were talking about him. Could be someone completely different. But yeah, I'm interested in finding out. That should be quite something. Hopefully we'll get some answers to that, maybe in the next one. Yeah, I did have a lot of fun with it. Um, I really liked getting more glimpses of like Regina's powers, um, when she's like the evil queen. Because she had the vines, and then she like moved people to the different places and stuff. Um, I really like seeing her. She looked really badass in that, that costume she had in this episode. She looked like right badass. I loved it. I also really liked her interactions with Emma in this episode because it wasn't like the classic bitchiness that they've had before. Um, they were kind of on opposite sides of what to do again. Um, but I feel like they were quite civilised about it this time. So maybe that's showing some sort of growth. But yeah, that was a really interesting episode. I really liked the stories we got you know, shown in it and... Um, some really nice character moments with Emma and Henry and Emma and Mary Margaret. So yeah, really cool episode. And I look forward to seeing what we're going to see next, especially with that tease at the end. That, that's that got me very intrigued. So I'm excited to see the story continue. Thanks for watching.